Welcome back, Carl here. Now we're gonna be inserting data into our table that we created. We're also gonna query that data to make sure that data is entered correctly. And last but not least, we're gonna be creating a new table. So let's go ahead and get started with inserting our table into table. And it's just gonna be 10 rows of data. So we're not gonna do a whole lot, but we're gonna do enough to build that repetition to start getting your memory remembering what to enter to insert data into a table. So let's just go ahead and get started with insert into is the statement, the, the SQL statement that we're gonna be using. And what we're gonna be inserting into is this customer table right here. So we're gonna type in customer here, and then let's just hit enter. Once we hit enter, we're gonna be building the columns around this, inside this parentheses. So let's just go ahead and use this here. So before we started, you should have just did a select all so that you can see the columns here and use that kind of as a cheat sheet. So I'm just gonna come here and say ID, last name. And as you can see, it's popping, it's populating for you. First name, and you can just hit enter like that. And then just keep doing this all the way across. Address, city. State and zip code. Once you've done that, the next thing we're going to do is the values, right? So let's just come at the end of this line here and say values. And let's just remember the all caps it values. Once you get to this line, we're going to do another open and close parentheses and we're going to be inserting the values within the parentheses and the values is just going to be consistent or parallel with the column names or in that same order. So for the first value, we're going to have ID, which is one, and then we're going to have a last name. So your last name is going to be inside these single quotes. And then let's just pick a last name. Let's just say it's Jackie for her. And then we're going to say another single quotes. I'm going to pick that. And then we're going to do single quotes for the gender. And we're just going to say female. We're going to spell it out because we're going to do some things later on to go from the word female to just the letter female. So we're going to spell it out just for now. And then we're going to do the address and just type it exactly how I'm typing it. 8 Dakota Plaza. Spelled Dakota wrong. There we go. Next, we have the state. No, the address and then the city. So this city will be Herndon. And then we'll have the state. This state will be Virginia. And last but not least, we'll have a zip code. And that's the zip code. Once we finish that, we can go ahead and put a semicolon at the end of that. And that will be our first row within our table. So our first row will consist of one for the ID, last name Jackie, Moyes, female, address, city, state, and the zip code. If I go ahead and hit this execute now, we'll see that one row has been affected. And if I come down here and then I just do a select. All. From customer. So if I do that and hit execute we'll see that we've entered in our first row in our table. Once you've done that, go ahead and take some time and do the rest of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and post it here. Pause the video, do the rest of these on your own. Once you're done, just go ahead and press play and we'll just pick up at number 10. So if you've done number 10 already, let's just go ahead and run a query to make sure that that data is indeed inside that data in that data table. So we're gonna do a select all, we're gonna do from, and we're gonna do customer. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna make sure we spell it right too. 
All right, so once we do that, we can just do execute. Oh, and I gotta pull this up. Once you do it, execute, you should see all the data that you entered up here inside of that table with Moaz being the first one and Phil being the last one. And it should be a total count of 10. And you should have all your states and cities and everything filled out. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is imagine if you had one too many letters on the end of somebody's name. So let's take for an example jose we see here we have host instead of jose we have jose so in order to fix this what i want to do is i want to come here first i want to come here and let's just fix it right we're going to fix it but we're not going to do anything just yet but just keep in mind that this id number is number four just like up here just like down here this id number four so what i want to do to fix that is i want to do a delete and a delete from statement We're going to delete from we're deleting from customer and then we're going to do where and we'll get into where clauses where id is equal to four so we're going to delete where id is equal to four so we're just going to come here and do an execute so we'll do an execute and then let's just select let's just select all again as to see what we have so we have everything except for that number four. So you see that Jose is gone. So what we're going to do to add that back, since we already made the modifications and changes to it, we're going to come here and we're just going to say, we're going to run this. We have Jose spelled right now. Execute. And once we do that, we hit boom. And then just realize Jose had too many E's, but now it has one e and it is actually jose and we have just made some modifications to our table without breaking our table last but not least let's create a table now let's go ahead and create a table we're going to do create table and this table is going to be the sales table yes we're finally there we had sales table so we're going to do sales and then we're going to open and close that because we're going to build this table out within those parentheses and remember to build a table is all about having a, your column and then explaining what that column type is going to be so let's go ahead and get started first with our id table because we want to make sure that we have a column that is relational to the other table so we're going to do an id first so we're going to say id and that that is going to be an integer the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do, let's just do a card type. And that's gonna be a var char. And let's just say 50. The next thing we're gonna do is a store. Let's just call this a var char. Let's just say store category. And this will also be a var char. The next thing we're going to have is we're going to have an amount. And then this is going to be an integer, card type, store category, amount. And we're just going to stop at amount for, for this particular table. So I'll just do my semicolon at the end. So now we have a sales table that's going to include the ID, a card type, a store category, and an amount. So let's go ahead and create this table. So let's execute. Commands completed successfully. If we come here and do a refresh, we'll come, we'll just come to your tables and do the refresh. So come here and do the refresh. And now you can see that we have a sales table. If I come here and do a select all from, instead of customer, we can say sales. to execute and we can see that we have a table for sales now that we have a table for sales we have concluded this session so you guys have learned how to insert data into a table we have queried that data and we have also created a new table so now I'll see you guys in the next one